Hey guys, what's up? Um, I haven't done a video in a really long time. And I finally decided that I don't care if it's super late, I'm just I'm just going to do it. Get it done. Um, and this is just going to be a kind of a channel update. Some new things that's going to be happening. Uh some future videos on what I want to do and stuff like that there's, there's a lot of big things that are being progressed in uh, in my channel and that are going to be up on it and one is I'm going to be going uh, hiking here so this is going to be my hiking knife. Uh, I haven't done a... Or maybe I have. No, I don't think I've done a... Any video on this yet. So, yeah. I'm going to use this for the first time. Do the first overnight... Uh, overnight camp. Uh, I think this weekend. Maybe next, but... I'm trying to get it out this weekend, so... Yeah, I'll tell you guys how that goes. I might do a a bag dump or something like that. Another th quick little thing is my Ontario Rat One. And let me clean the blade off for you. But this knife has been in my pocket every single time that I'm able to have it since I bought it and it has just taken a beating if you can see there I really need to clean this blade thoroughly but tape whatnot on this blade I don't know right there if you can see that little nick right there yeah it'll happen this is my this has been my EDC blade for Probably two weeks, I think, since I put that uh, knife unboxing of this. And it is just great. Broken in. Super fast. Cuts great. It's full flat ground, so slices great. One thing that kind of bothered me about it, and I just noticed this this weekend, but the spine of the blade... One side, it's uh, nice and rounded, but one side, it's very sharp. And I was digging in my pockets to get something, and I cut myself. And I don't know, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I had sliced my finger off with, or sliced my finger with uh, the spine of the blade. And so, yeah, I'm going to fix that, but just one thing to note. But... Great knife. Going to be a review of that here fairly soon. Um, and then I got two little things here. And if you guys know, this is the Boker Nano. But this, I don't think it's been shown ever on my videos or anybody else's videos. But this is my first knife that I have ever made. And it's a just a little dashy. Um, it's got a chisel grind. And I was watching videos. I've wanted to make a knife for a very long time. And I was watching videos and all that kind of stuff. And I was just like, I'm just going to do it. So I took an old file and I made it into this and I know it, it's nothing beautiful it got uneven marks and horrible grind and all all that kind of stuff yeah you don't have to tell me but uh, yeah I'm proud of it it's first ever but yeah that and the reason why I'm bringing this out is because for one, it's technically considered a custom knife, which brings me to another point. 
but first off this is a reproduction of a custom knife and I've been looking on Blade HQ and everything for the real ones that I think they're about 300 bucks or so the real uh, Curtis knives and I I just want a custom knife so that's why I have these two out here and I I got a little bit of extra money so I decided to kind of splurge and um, I'm getting a knife made by Ferrum Forge if you guys haven't seen his channel you just go check him out he does he's a really funny guy he's a great very talented uh, custom knife maker and he does some great work full customs you just have to email him he will give you your email and all that kind of stuff he has a website fairandforge.com go check him out he does great work and if you're in the line for a custom knife he's the guy to go he has crazy steels XM100 um, S90VN uh, M390 and I mean yeah it's a custom knife it's gonna be expensive but I have complete trust in him that he's gonna make a one-of-a-kind knife that is gonna be great so a little bit of story um, I contacted him and lo and behold the first time ever in his life he goes on a vacation for a weekend and since I contacted him like the day that he left I I didn't hear from him for a couple days and I was kind of I don't know if I put in the wrong email or whatnot and I just didn't know what's up so I was about two seconds away from buying a different knife and so I checked my email like one of the last time I was gonna check my email before I bought this knife and lo and behold he uh, he emailed me back and he sent me a picture of a knife or three knives actually three different options and I like the middle one but we're doing some changes on it like I said I just want this complete custom and that's gonna be a big thing I don't know for sure how long it's gonna take to make it but I think it's it's definitely worth waiting so yeah that's one big thing it's good it's a big buy and I'm really excited for it I can't I can't wait for me to have a custom another thing is that since since making this knife I have just had ideas lots and lots of ideas of knives and what I should make and stuff like that and a lot of them are fixed blades uh, I don't really know the mechanicals and how to process uh, folders yet but I'm getting into that so one thing over the summer or maybe even longer um, I'm buying some uh, knife making stuff and I'm gonna start either pimping knives like tough thumbs if you guys haven't checked them out you probably want to he makes some great work and stuff uh, just complete customs and yeah that's gonna be a big thing I really it's one of those things that I really enjoy either as a hobby or maybe if I get big something I don't know this this was made with honestly a wheel grinder and I tried to uh, get a hole through that with a drill press but that did not work and I snapped the drill press or snapped the uh, bit because it's since it's a file it's already hardened stuff and yeah it's really hard and it doesn't yeah I didn't have the right tools so 
I'm gonna upgrade my tools. I'm gonna, yeah, it's a big thing. Kind of excited, ready to go. So that's that's another big thing. Um, let's see. What else do I have for you guys today? Uh, more videos will be on its way. Uh, here's something I made or in progress of making. A little fishing kit for uh, going hiking this weekend or next weekend. It I don't know yet. It depends on work schedule and everything. But yeah. I think that is it. Since, oh, since uh, summer's coming up, I'm going to hopefully be getting some more gun videos out. Uh, going to the range and shooting some guns. Having some fun. I'm going to try to get some more videos that's not on this boring wood uh, desk outside. Get some camping videos. Uh, hiking gear, some how-tos, yeah, I think that's pretty much it, big things happening, more knives coming, I don't think I have any more knives, I haven't bought a new knife for two weeks or something, it bums me out, oh, got this guy, also EDC, great knife, I think I reviewed that. Oh, I cut this little knife for jokes. Uh, I might have been in another video, but yeah. That's that. Uh, yep, yeah, that's it. If you guys have any ideas of what kind of fixed blades I could do or some designs. I would be more than happy on you guys helping me out with that. It's going to be a big thing. And, yeah. 12 minutes, I think that might be the longest video I've ever made. So, yep. Yeah. Go check out Fair and Forge. Tough thumbs. And I will check you guys later. Thanks for watching.